Hi, welcome to my crazy life. I'm Lori, and tonight I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I stopped on my way home. It's pretty big. Okay, it's really big, but I don't care. So let's get started. Um, first things first, this did come from the Dollar Store. My co-worker got it for me. And it's Cake Pops Holiday Bakerella. And it has all different kinds of cake pops in here. Um, some pretty detailed directions, you know, on the supplies that you'll need and how she went about doing it. From the simple to the, there's like, I think Santa Claus is, oh, how about those? I know, so cute. So he got me this. Um, they have covered up the price, but I'm guaranteeing it was more than a dollar. So I did get that today at work when I went in. Um, a lot of this stuff is for an upcoming trip that I'm taking. And there's going to be a video right after this, probably in the same shirt, of Dollar Tree hacks for travel. But for right now, let's just go over what I purchased today. Over the last couple of days, really. Uh, one of the one things I did get, one of the one things, <laughs> one of the items I picked up, so glamorous, is mothballs. Um... My new cat that I've had for about a month, well, yeah, about two months now, um, he was an outdoor cat for the first three years of his life. He was rescued by a local cat rescue, fixed, and I adopted him. He wants to poop in my plants. So I think I'm going to try putting these on the mat around the plants, not in the plants. Maybe one or two to try to deter him. We'll see. I got the mothballs for that. I got a bag of stones, decorative accent stones. These are the, so you can see the earthy colored ones. Um, getting basil. And from what I've been reading, you want to put them in a terracotta pot, the basil, put these in the drip tray, and then set the plant on top of the rocks. And you keep the water in the bottom, and it humidifies the plant. I don't know, but we're going to try it. So I got some rocks. I might need some more, but we'll see. Um, I, I'm not sure if I showed this on the other one. I got one more, ooh, what? one more piece of wall decor here for my kitchen. I, I was looking for the cherries, but I found the tomato, and I think that's just as cute. So this is going to go on. I'm looking to look. It's going to go on the wall over there with the pig. So I've got that. And I'm so excited. For my travel wall upstairs, I found the compass rose. And then I found this one as well. Life is a great adventure uh, because I think it will tie in the canvas with the framed art on a gallery wall. So I got these two today, which I was so excited. My store doesn't normally get all the good stuff, but apparently we did. Who knew? Um, candles, candles, and more candles. I got, this is the Old Williamsburg, which is really the only candle I buy for scent. And the watermelon. Oh, I was going to let you smell it. Because that's what you do, right? Um, these smell really good. Especially like in a small room. I have a small bathroom. And these smell really good. And so I got a second one of those. Um, I got, oh, I got these, which are new. Now, these are the Star Candle Company. And I don't have a lot of hope for any good scents. However... The packaging is adorable. Uh, this is Seaside Marina Bay, and this one is Seaside Ocean Mist. And I just love the containers. And there's not a good cold sniff on these at all. This is definitely stronger. It's very linen men's cologne. Clean. Clean scent. Fresh cotton, one of those type of things. Citrus undertones. So this one I would think has going to have more um, throw. We'll see. Sometimes I just like to burn candles because it's fun to burn candles. You know, I don't necessarily need a lot of scent um, from them, but we'll see. I did find one of these pens. And it reminds me of when I was a kid, the troll pencils or pens. And this is the teal, and it has polka dots. So I'm just going to take it to work, put it on my desk. Something fun. I got for my trip 
one more of the little dove. Um, okay, I really that glare today. These are 2.53, so I can take this on board with me. I get very dry on an airplane, and this will be good for my hands. I get, and plus, if I'm knitting or reading, paper dries your hands out, so this is a perfect size and a consistency. So I got that. Um, I bought, so I watched Auntie Cuckoo, um, and she loves these things. So I bought one to try. It's called a Click Gel by Lysol. It's an automatic toilet bowl cleaner, and it comes with its own little contraption, and you peel it, and you shove it up under the rim, and squish it, and it sticks the gel to the toilet. It's very strong, I will tell you that. Um, I have it in my powder room down here on the main floor where I'm sitting right now, and it's strong. Um, but it's good. It keeps your bathroom fresh, and I can imagine if you were a household with boys, it would be great. Um, I may get one for my downstairs bathroom that doesn't get a lot of use, so I think that would be perfect. I opened it up, so I wanted to show you what I thought. So I got that. I purchased, oh, I was looking for this notebook, and it says, Live Life in Full Bloom. And this is a, a reoccurring saying, because I believe I have a little placard in my bathroom that says the same thing that I have sitting next to some flowers. And this is black and white stripes, and I love the gold detail here. It matches the gold foil on the front. And it's just a notebook. Nothing exciting. Well, it is exciting, um, because I love notebooks. But it's 60 sheets, and this was going to be the last one I buy for a while, because I need to start utilizing the notebooks. Um, I found one more phone holder, the other one that I wanted, and it says, I do not care. <laughs> this is going to go in my craft room for my phone. So I got that one. I, I also have the cupcake one. Um, for my trip, I got these for my niece and I. I love these things. I can't get it in the whole picture. They are microfiber facial pads, and there's three of them. I'm going to take one of mine out. I like green. She does not. Um, so what it is, is they're little tiny pads. There's uh, an abrasive side, but not overly. I feel like it's like the puff material over a pad. And then this side is just like a washcloth microfiber. They are great. I put them in the shower, and I wash my face with them while I'm in the shower. I'm not a huge, huge fan of like over the sink, washing, splashing down the front. So what I do is at night I remove my makeup with a cleansing wipe. And in the morning in the shower, I use a cleanser on a pad. These happen to be for vacation. I have some upstairs. I mean, I can use them if I want. I'll just get more. Um, but the thing is, I just took them when I went to Georgia and I threw it away. I had a yellow one. I just used it while I was there and then tossed it. So I don't have to travel you know, once we leave Scotland, we'll just throw these away. So I got one for Sarah in pink and one for me in green. So that was exciting. Um, some tr Now the rest of this stuff I think is more travel related, mostly. Um, I did get, oh, she threw it in the bag. That's all right. A word find for the airplane or the hotel if I get bored. And what I kind of enjoy about this is it's really kind of a large print. I mean, I'm not completely blind, but after hours of an airplane, it's nice to have something big. So these are just pocket puzzle, red, white, or blue, patriotic, I love Lucy. They're just themed word searches, but I enjoy those. So I grabbed one of those for my bag. And then I got this, which is not for the trip. It's Crayola Hand Lettering Creative Art Pad. Uh, they're calling it Crayolography, Crayola, it's calligraphy. It's how to learn, learning how to write calligraphy, which I wanted to do. So they have your letters, and you can practice large, uh, uppercase, smaller case, print, and cursive, which kids nowadays don't even know how to write cursive, so I'm not sure what this is all about, but, oh, sorry that fuzzy thingies coming at me. So yeah, just kind of a little how-to book. What I probably will do is photocopy some pages because I wanted to learn to do some calligraphy. And then here's just blank pages to write something. So what I most likely will do is copy the alphabet pages so I can learn. But I thought this was great for one dollar. 
says it's ages six and up. It's Crayola, which is a Hallmark company. I did not know that. Um, no price on it, but definitely worth a dollar, for, especially for something that I wanted to kind of learn how to do. So I got that. I grabbed an eye mask for, well, duh, the airplane. I got shower caps. This is an eight pack in purple and clear. You'll have to watch my travel hack video to see what I'm using all this stuff for. I Oh, I got one more candle, which I had not seen. This is the Honeydew Melon. Oh, I love Honeydew Melon. And between the watermelon and the honeydew, the only one I'm looking for now are the coconut leaves. Oh, I want that one so bad. But for now, I was I thought this was it when I saw the green, but it was not. Um, I got a two pack of shower sponges. You know, just the bath sponges. Again, the green one will be for me. She can have the white one. We'll take them on vacation and toss them before we come home. And for 50 cents each, and these are pretty plump. These are nice firm ones, which I'm happy about. Um, oh, I got some Lipton, or not Lipton, but some onion soup mix. So I'm going to make a pot roast at some point. Boring. I got a gigantic pill holder. Seven-day pill holder. I got some minced onions. I like cooking with that. And for a dollar, that's a really good deal. I got a small travel size of the placard, which I love. I got... A document, well, it's not a document holder, it's a pencil case, zipper pouch. This is either going to hold my documents or my chargers. I'm not sure which yet, but it will hold one or the other. And what I like about this container, I'm not sure if you can hear it. It's really like a vinyl, so it's not going to tear or rip. And if something were to get wet, especially in Scotland, it won't, if it gets wet on the outside, nothing on the inside is going to get wet unless it's up here on the zipper part, or vice versa. If I put some liquids in here and they spill, they're not going to get out. So I like that, and I love the owls. So I got that for me. And then the last thing I picked up were some feminine cleansing cloths for my trip, obviously, because I'm going to be on an airplane for seven hours, and we're going to be at airports for equally amount of time. I'm going to want to freshen up reality so I grabbed some of these I can share them with Sarah you know she can use some too there's 32 these are maxi thins feminine cleansing cloths for sensitive skin pH balance alcohol free hypoallergenic dermatologist tested with soothing aloe so I just thought these would be handy not flushable so I grabbed a pack of those and that is it for my Dollar Tree haul today. I think that was like a whirlwind <laughs> of quick shoppingness. Um, but yeah, that was, oh, I lie. Oh I saved the best for last. I was so excited. I found the reversible sequin totes. I bought two only. These are the pink and rose gold. The 7 inch by 9 inch, and I have one open because what I'm going to do is store um, makeup when I coupon. I'm not sure because of the glare if you're going to get a good, but it goes from rose gold on that side to silver, and it really does a good job. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what the point is, but they're pretty, and let's be honest, they're sequins, so I'm not so pretty, so pretty. <laughs> and I'm storing makeup in here that I coupon for, and so it'll be nice. And one of these will be for storing makeup. The other one is going to store all my little travel goodies until we pack up to go. It's just very, very, like I could do this all day. Very tactile. So that was the last thing I found. So excited. They did have the black with the pearl, and they had the pink with something. Uh, I think maybe silver, but... I did not need a whole bunch of them. I just needed two. And that is it for today. Um, definitely like, subscribe, comment. Let's, let's build something here together, shall we? All right. Well, have a great time and have a great weekend. Bye.